in this class we are discussing class 8 mass exponents and powers chapter in that laws of exponents we are discussing now the first law is a raised to the power of m is to be multiplied with a raised to the power of n then what can we write same base is there and here powers are multiplied with same base then we have to take single base add the exponents that is m plus n let us take one example example how to apply this formula 2 raised to the power of 3 is multiplied with 2 raised to the power of 4 immediately you should get the idea of that idea that this is in the form of a raised to the power of m into a raised to the power of n so here a is 2 and m is 3 n is 4 like this you have to get the idea what is there if a power m into a power n what we have written we have taken the base that is here base is 2 and here also 2 is there so that you can take single base next we have done this one plus this one this exponents we have added here 3 plus 4 3 plus 4 finally you can conclude that 2 raised to the power of 3 plus 4 is 7 further if you wanted to write 2 power 7 value you can write or else you can leave it next formula number 2 a raised to the power of m divided by a raised to the power of n is there at that time what we have to write in multiplication we are adding the exponents in division what we have to do we have to do subtraction so first exponent minus second exponent exponent is n let us take one example here in the powers bases are same exponents are different let us take uh, 2 raised to the power of 4 divided by 2 raised to the power of 3 immediately you should get the idea of this formula rule number law number 2 a raised to the power of m divided by a raised to the power of n what we have done we have taken the same base what is repeating here base is repeating that is 2 next exponent this first exponent minus second exponent first exponent is 4 minus here this is 3 4 minus 3 is what 1 2 power 1 that can be written as 2 only next third law law number 3 a raised to the power of m into b raised to the power of m is there here you can observe in the previous uh, first law and second law bases are same here exponents are same at that moment what we have to do we will take the common exponent that is here m is there that you can write then directly you have to multiply a into b a into b one example for this third law 3 raised to the power of 2 into 4 raised to the power of 2 you can observe exponents are same exponents are same bases are different what we can do we will take common exponent that is 2 in the base we will multiply this different bases are there 3 into 4 that you can multiply 3 into 4 will be 12 12 square 12 square it can be written as 144 12 square means 12 into 12 that is 144 next fourth one law number four here multiplication we have done 
next we are learning division a raised to the power of m divided by b raised to the power of m is there at that time what we have to do we have to take common exponent that is m for both a and b later on what is there a by b as it is you write one example for this Four raised to the power of three divided by three raised to the power of three. What we can write? Common exponent three is there that you can write here, and four divided by three. Four divided by three. Like this, we can apply fourth law. Law number five. Power of a power. Power of a power. A raised to the power of m, all power n is there. At that time, what we have to do? We will take this base as it is. Just we will multiply these two, m into n, that is m n. One example for this. Example: two raised to the power of three, all power four. You take. What we have done? We have taken the base as it is, like this a. So here base is two. Write this. Exponents are multiplied. So m into n is m n. Three into four. We have to do three into four. That is two raised to the power of three into four is twelve. Next law number six. Sixth law. A raised to the power of minus n is there. At that time, what we have to do? In the exponent, negative number is there. To make that one as positive, we will write one divided by a raised to the power of n. Like this, we can write. To make this one as positive, we have written this one in the denominator so that it became as positive exponent. Or else, if you wanted to make positive exponent as negative exponent, this one you can shift here, and this one will come here. Based on this law, one example: three raised to the power minus two is there. What we can write? One divided by three square. Yes, exponent is negative, so it came when you. When you are shifting this term to the denominator, the negative number, negative exponent will become as positive exponent. One by three square means three into three, three into three. That is one by three into three is nine. Next law, seventh law. Some base will be there, and in the exponent zero is there. At that time, what we have to write? Something power zero is always equal to one, where that base, whatever the base we have selected, that base should not be equal to zero. For this condition, only this is possible. Something power zero is always equal to one. Let us take some examples for this law. Some five power zero. Is equal to one. Next one more also we can select minus hundred power zero equal to one. Any number power zero is always equal to one except zero power zero. That is why we have written the condition: the base value should not be equal to zero. Like x power zero equal to one, y power zero equal to one, z power zero equal to one. Like that we can write. These are the seven important laws of exponents which we have learned in this class.